A bombed and wounded city, Sumy of Ukraine is preparing for another attack of Russia. Sumy is expecting new attacks from the Russian occupiers. Residents of the regional center fought back against Russian troops in 2022, and now they are being warned about another offensive. This is stated in the material of the New York Times. The publication recalls the events of 2022 when Sumy was subjected to crushing blows from the aggressor. Now, Ukrainian officials are increasingly warning that the city is the target of a new offensive by Russian troops massing along the border. The mood is very alarming. People read the news, people read telegram channels, and they cannot ignore the news about a possible attack on Sumy, says 38-year-old Captain Dmitry Lantushenko, spokesman for the 117th Territorial Defense Brigade stationed in Sumy. He notes that closer to the border, villages and towns are already being shelled daily and guided bombs, missiles and drones are hitting factories and power plants in the industrial region of Sumy. At the same time, the regional center, like most of Ukraine, lives in conditions of power outage. Momentum shifted in favor of Russian troops who invaded. Ukraine failed to get far in a counteroffensive in the summer of 2023 and was short of troops and ammunition as American support was delayed by hardliners in Congress. The media stated, Sumy and the region have been shelled more times in the first five months of 2024 than during all of last year, yet some villages on the Russian border still stand. There's also the simple matter of geography. Sumy Oblast borders Russia and, just like Kharkiv to the southeast, is in range of far more of Russia's weapons systems than cities such as Kyiv in more central areas that can only be hit by missiles and drones. In the summer of last year, after Ukrainian forces liberated Sumy Oblast following a short-lived Russian occupation, a five-kilometer exclusion zone along the border was established. This is now clearly inadequate to protect Ukrainians from indiscriminate Russian attacks. A lot of Russians are sent to war in Ukraine. Putin has a new problem. The birth rate in Russia has continued to decline since the start of the full-scale war. In January to March 2024, the figure decreased by 3.5% compared to the same period last year. In addition, many people are fleeing abroad, according to the Wall Street Journal. According to Rostat, in the Belgorod region, which borders Ukraine, the drop was 10.2%. And in some other regions, as well as in occupied Crimea, the decline in the birth rate was also greater than the national average, the publication reports. Because of such indicators, demographers are sounding the alarm. One of the experts told the publication in a comment that in many Russian cities, the birth rate is decreasing precisely because of mobilization, because a lot of men are sent to war in Ukraine. The war unleashed by Russia also influenced the increase in emigrants. According to journalists, in 2020, the number of emigrants in Russia amounted to about 668,000, which is the highest figure since 1992. About 450,000 more Russians left the country in 2023. However, this is not the main reason for the demographic crisis in the aggressor country. Another threat to the lives of Russians is alcohol and drugs. Demographers are also concerned that the war could once again lead to an increase in so-called deaths of despair from alcohol-related diseases and other causes. Drinking and drugs have long been a problem in Russia, so they believe that it is more honorable to die in war than from alcoholism. The article says, The material notes that such demographic indicators lead to sad consequences because despite the million-strong population, the Russian dictator is catastrophically short of people for the war and workers for the enterprises where weapons and shells are produced. That is why Putin declared 2024 the year of the family and promises huge cash rewards for families with three or more children.